Hello and welcome to my channel. I am out of my soundproof room, so I'm sharing with you our village. Uh, you're going to be hearing a song from Rage Against the Machine and playing in my desktop. And there's a basketball commentary. We have our village league. Our fiesta is coming up, so there you go. Today I'm going to be doing an acid etching or just say ferric chloride etch on this Damascus steel. It has been giving me problems every time I put it in the sheath and then when I take it out there's some rusting. So I'm going to be doing a, uh, what do you call that? I was hoping for a vinegar patina but then I decided that I'd do with a ferric chloride in this Damascus steel. So first thing I'm gonna do is, that's my three-year-old. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be putting nail polish remover on this one to take out all the oils that has been accumulated in this knife. Some paper towels. I really don't know what's gonna come off this. Yes, Langa, just stay. So, there should be no oil in that because of the acetone nail polish remover. This is ferric chloride. This is just water that I'll be dunking the whole blade after I've dunked it in ferric chloride for maybe about five minutes. Let's see how that goes. And after I take it out of the water, I'm gonna be cleaning it with Windex. So that's what you need. Nail polish remover or acetone, ferric chloride, water, and Windex. So yeah, acetone should be dry. And here goes nothing. Just a basic, basic. Oh, I hope everything's dunked in there. Well, I'm not using the stick because I can't dunk the whole thing, so hopefully that won't tip over. Five minutes. If I get to... you call this? If I get to edit this, which I'm probably not gonna do so. Just know that you're watching Ferric Chloride Edge for five minutes. And listen to the background music and the uh, basketball league commentary in the background also my three-year-old just running around here there you go sorry about that so let's see what happened looks good Oopsie. I'm gonna try and add more ferric chloride because it's just lining up so that's deeper now I don't want to go beyond the scales because it might be eating on the metal on the inside the scale so I'm just lined on the scales do what they told ya mm -hmm.
this is my work area outside work area basketball court is over there that's where you're hearing the basketball commentary that's our garden outside solar things check looking good little bit more turn it around careful not to tip that over because if it does then everything here would be filled with ferric chloride and that would be bad I think I would need to increase the water wait Here's more water. Huh? Hopefully it won't be overflowing when I dunk it in there. That's around four minutes. One more minute. So what's the procedure after this? Dunking it in water. Ah, commotion. Yes. Dad. Dad. It's okay. Real time 30 more seconds and I'd be done with the uh, ferric chloride etching I think we're good. Well, I don't know how that looked, but hopefully it won't be rusting as much.
Yep, Windex is coating the whole thing. I did not damage this blade because it's now completely different from what it started from how it started I mean Okay, hopefully this gives it more protection now. I don't know if that would be doing that job of giving it additional protection and not rusting every time I pull it off the, sh the leather sheath. WD-40 Lithium yeah, Let it soak Just for a little bit Well, it definitely has this sinister look now. Black blade. <laughs> Match with the blue micarta.
Let me bring you to a nice light, natural light. There it is. The delineation of the white line coming into your handle, left it alone. But the black blade is looking proper now, I like it. I was very careful not to let the ferric chloride eat into the handle, because that will be bad. But now the blade is black and hopefully that would protect it from the elements and not rust. There you have it folks. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you guys in the next video.